and natives of southern Kaduna residents in Abuja say over 50,000 persons have been displaced following repeated attacks by armed Fulani militia. They took to the United States Embassy in Abuja, calling on the international community to lend their voice to the call on the federal government to do more in protecting lives and property in the area. Our correspondent, Amadin Uyi, was there and tells us more. The protesters had converged as early as 9 a.m. at a diplomatic drive housing several international missions within the city center. With tears and carrying placards displaying their grievances, they say they want urgent intervention from the international community over the escalating crisis in the southern Kaduna area of Kaduna State. United States government, don't say that uh, you did not know. This is your embassy in Nigeria. Save us. Protect us. Save us from people that feel they have the power more than us. We want the international community to hold our government accountable to what is happening in southern Kaduna because their body language shows that, one, they know what is happening, two, they don't want to take responsibility, three, they are blaming the wrong people, and four, they are arresting the wrong set of people, most especially when people come out to defend themselves. We cannot let our brothers, you cannot beat me and then stop me from crying. It's not possible. We're not going to allow that. Some of them reveal their experiences. My family has been killed. <laughs> My family has been killed. In this recent killings that they kill, they burned down our houses right now, right now. I have six people in my house. I have more than five people in my younger brother's house. And my younger brother don't have a work. All, everything is on me. I hail from Zango Kataf local government. My village, Chipop village, was the first village that was attacked by the Fulani headsmen, so to say. Uh, our people are vulnerable. And the whole thing is just like a charade. It appears there is, uh, no help is coming from the government. And even those that are displaced uh, in the camps, no any interest from the government to come and, and, and assist, to assist them in a way to elevate what is really happening to them. The attackers, Fulani Hartsmen Militia, have taken over the communities. And in all this, most of the communities that have been displaced, the displaced person we have are more than 50,000 right now. They cannot go to farm. They cannot go to harvest. Their children cannot go to school. They cannot go to seek medication. And most importantly to note that in Zangon Katav local government and Kauru local government, we have had three attacks that have taken place where over 50 people have been massacred mostly women and children, in their sleep. And a 24 hours curfew has been imposed on those communities by the governor, Governor Nasiru Erufai. For these natives of Southern Kaduna residents in Abuja, they say they have come to the U.S. Embassy calling on the international community to lend their voice to their demands, which is an end to the killings in the south of Kaduna axis of Kaduna State. It has come to a point where if people die today, everyone keeps quiet or we make noise just for today and tomorrow and then we keep quiet. But next week they resume with their killings. So for the past one month, we've been protesting and we are not going to stop. We are pleading that the world must focus its attention to save the communities in southern Kaduna from the genocide that is been by all manner of the body language and the utterances and the actions or inactions of the officials, the government of the day. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.